today's language, poetic. So poetic is a pretty simple、uh, brain fuck derivative that more or less just directly translates to it. But instead of encoding it in very minimal kind of syntax,、uh, it uses a very abstract poetic syntax. So poetic takes the form of kind of an abstract-looking poem, and the way it does that is it just uses the length of words to、uh, use as value. So if this word is of length、uh, six, then that just gets translated in the poetic compiler to the number six, and then every number is associated with an instruction. So that's basically how it works. So a one begins the loop、uh, square, and a two is the end of the loop square. This is pretty traditional、uh, in brainfuck. So you could have the movement is being made. So these will loop around. That's the one. This is the two. The increment value is a three.、Um, the decrement is a four. The move to the right is a five. Move to the left is six. The dot is seven, so they all have these more traditional brainfuck equivalents. <clears throat> the proverbial unconsciousness. I was already aware. I had understood fully. I saw the devil. I was perfectly still. Involuntarily, I paused. There, said I, by sheer consciousness of certain given circumstances, I noticed it's nothing, nothing, nothing any man wouldn't learn. A way of finding these, I know not. Nothing common or typical, and yet, somehow, will normally resolve every contradiction. A foolish heart, an eternal misfortune. And now, if we run that with the poetic pie interpreter, wow! Look at that. It's hello world. So basically,、um, what's going on here? Is this is just getting translated to the increment? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this the anything larger than ten becomes that number as a digit. This is just ten until it gets printed. So I imagine this is probably ten,、uh, and then for the new line and going on and on. And it'll print them out one by one. Finally, I'd like to highlight a pretty interesting sample program that the creator of Poetic has made, saying, "Whenever I drink a beverage, I'm always intoxicated." Yergertsur, which is really strange backwards. I am inebriated.、So、this is the entire source code. And what does it do? Well, it. Takes in an input, hello, and reverses it. So it's a it's a nice poem about being inebriated, and it reverses the input, which is just so、uh, so amazing. It's very very clever. Just for that,、uh, I will give it bonus points. So yeah. So pretty,、uh, pretty short episode this time around,、um, but yeah, that's the poetic language, and it actually kind of reminds me of this other language, Rockstar, which is another one of these、uh, translation kind of languages、uh, where it uses natural language, but more.、Uh, this one uses a bit differently with variables and stuff. But it's kind of like the、uh, it tr-、uh, disguises itself as a different、uh, form of text, but it can be interpreted as a programming language. So Rockstar is pretty interesting, and then the creator of Rockstar,、uh, Dylan Beatty, actually performed a Rockstar program in a talk he had once, which I which I thought was pretty dope. And so that's Rockstar, and it's also similar. And it's also similar, I think, to the Shakespeare. Programming language, 
which uses uh, the idea of it being a Shakespeare play to set up the language. So it's pretty interesting. You use uh, the characters, you declare the characters as your variables, and their language, what they say in the script, uh, is actually commands of the program. For example, you have to declare your uh, variables like so at the beginning, giving them a name, and it has to be a Shakespearean name. You use acts and scenes, and it uses the same trick of the length of words are encoded as numbers, then those numbers are um, interpreted by the language. So kind of a similar idea, except here you have the use speak your mind, and little sentences like that, that uh, act as kind of print statements or something like that. So yeah, so a bit of a mixed bag this time. These written languages that kind of look like English but are interpreted differently are pretty interesting. I like Poetic specifically for the backwards printing program. Overall, I would probably rank Poetic as my lowest new SO Lang underneath even Cow, but because of its very clever use of the inebriated program, I'm going to actually have to bump it above Cow and make it my third favorite Esso Lang underneath the Bunge and Legit. Thanks for watching.